Hello everyone, before going into today's video, I want you to know that I released on Mobile Fire a massive Talia guide with over 30 pages of content, over 40 matchups and over 30 synergies with information on runes, builds, win conditions, roaming, gang pets and much much more. You have the link in the description below and feel free to check it out whenever you need help and uh, leave an upvote if it did help you. I will also answer all the questions you have guys in the comments or on Discord or wherever you want and I'll also be there for you if you need me. Thank you very much and let's go to the video. Hello everyone, my name is Rumat and today we're going to do a game in the new season or pre-season as we want to say and uh, we're going to talk about a bit uh, about the changes that came with Talia, well not to Talia exactly, but to the game and how we can actually play towards our advantage. Before we start, I'm playing with Doran playing health potions, I'm going for Ludens, the usual build. Items haven't changed much for us, so we have the usual stuff. Uh, I'm not going to go through that. Uh, same runes, most uh, most of them you, you know them already from past videos. Biscuit delivery time or tonic, electrical taste of blood, eye ball collection, ravenous hunter. Get Ludens, get Sork shoes, maybe get some uh, Rabadons or orb or pen void stuff and stuff like that, Zonias and so on. What I want to talk about besides these things is the, how the game has changed, how these things have changed and uh, how the map changes and things like that. Now, uh, I'll be honest with you, right now Talia might be in a stronger point, I say might because I haven't tested it much, because of the new junglers, um, how power levels or how can I say, if you have an early jungler or if you don't have an early jungler, you can play with your jungler to actually try to uh, help your jungler to scale and to destroy the enemy jungler. Because now the catch up XP has been removed, so uh, you can actually get your jungler a massive advantage and you can profit of it as well. And besides that, if you win lane now, or if you even if you don't win lane, uh, you still have a lot more XP than the bot lane because that has been reduced. So, if we're uh, reading that right, it means now that we can do better ganks at level 6 on bot lanes, and we have to do that. Uh, we have uh, better uh, maybe Drake control, because we're an early game champion, so in most matchups we're going to be fine. We just have to be careful against assassins such as this, so play with the typical uh, armor rune and uh, I'm gonna lose that okay I didn't lose anyone uh, play with the typical armor runes play with what's needed to ensure your survival against uh, an assassin such as this and maybe play a bit more aggressive like how I am right now doing maybe some deep words and stuff like that okay I don't think he has might he has might and we're going to be extremely aggressive because we're beating him and we won this trade and no one is going to come here because they don't have time so we actually destroyed uh, their jungler because he flashed in a bad manner so we actually gained advantage from that I'm actually going for another Doran's ring so that we can keep our blue buff now that was a bad roam maybe but I've pushed the wave into the tower and now she didn't really push it that fast because she doesn't really has doesn't really have that big clear power until she has items so we're going, going back to lane with a double buff and also with a full wave that's waiting for us maybe I'm gonna miss one minion maybe not okay I lost that one and I'm not gonna lose any other one because we have now we have uh, actually a lot of uh, tools to deal with and we kind of ruined Kartus' uh, clearing power, but I'm not sure why our Zac is so slow. Maybe he has a slow clear in general. But we got a blue buff, and that's very good for us. And we're actually having CS advantage now. Uh, if Tower gets to this wave in time. Okay. And I'm not sure why Zac is so slow. I don't think he got kills. And I'm gonna push this. I expect there to be. Oh my god, okay. Expect there to be a Cartus, but uh, I don't know why Zach doesn't come to help me. Uh, he, he definitely knows there is. Okay, damn it. And he's on top. We know he's on top, but we already got this. Uh, Zach shouldn't go anywhere with that HP. But yeah, we're going strong now. 
even though she's one level ahead we can actually poke very hard with this and we're fine we can expect the cartus to be around here and we do have some level disadvantage but we can uh, abuse this uh, this buff that we've got now don't do roams as I did there because it might be a bad idea because as you can see in level I'm behind in CS not so much but in level I'm behind and while that Cartus uh, has one that's our uh, our Zack isn't that much ahead I mean I don't think he's ahead at all because I'm not sure if he played much Zack before but he's a bit slow with it now Kiana can kill us easily after level 6 so we gotta be careful to that I'm, ne I'm, I'm in need of that uh, follow up here ok that's a free kill can I take it? it's a good thing that I took it actually because I'm scaling Zack is not really scaling and if you're not careful here yeah I'm not I'm not Okay, Zach came, that's perfect. And we got another kill on their jungler, so we play around the jungle, as we did right now. Another important thing to notice and to know uh, is how the Drake levels has shifted and how powerful they are right now. Basically, if you get Drakes now, you are strong, and if you get more Drakes, then you are more strong. And this actually helps us because we are uh, an early game champion and we can take early game drakes as much as we want. Uh, and now I'm actually recalling, but I'm having a pretty good start as you can see here. And their bot lane cannot do anything in this context. I'm getting faster than uh, that Kiana if she wants to ult. And I can actually stop her there in her tracks. Playing with Biscuits to get that sweet heal and why this has reset okay I'm gonna die here if I'm not getting much shot okay be careful because she has ult okay and Zack is okay now so we got the Drake and we got the early game control and as we've told as, as I told you uh, we can now easily uh, sh start to win because we have early game uh, Drake advantage uh, we have uh, early game Talia that's actually strong and uh, their card is, is a bit behind I'm not uh, it's okay I don't need that I just want blades right here. So you gotta focus on Herald, you gotta focus on Drake, you gotta focus wherever your team allows you to focus. And... Okay. Okay, coming. Coming. If you wanna pass that, I'm not gonna say no. Thank you. So we also have a nice jungler that probably understands... Oops. That's not okay. Yeah, now while Kartu scales heavily, uh, I don't think uh, I don't think we've pushed uh, him that far behind. Basically, they can actually uh, come back into the game without problem. And I want to see if they recall here. Okay. Okay, we gotta be careful. Got another kill there. So I'm 5-0, I'm going all the way around the map. I think I'm gonna ult here. Yeah, I need to be careful while flanking this because... So another kill here. Uh, we we did very fine now with this as well. So we're going to be uh, interested in some plates now. In more drakes, in two minutes there is another drake, and we're going to see how the map changes actually. Uh, if you did not know, the map now uh, kind of changes shape. 
and uh, that actually allows us to do some new kind of roams and so it has some new possibilities for us and if I want to do a full combo on this guy but I also want to take the plate so I'm going for that and my bot lane is destroying them I still have flash so that's good and I can go here I can one versus two this. Okay, not gonna butter much else. I have a lot of gold now, uh, and I want that cannon. Okay. I'm also certainly certain that uh, I can actually destroy her now uh, because the level difference is so big and our early game actually paid off the trade-off actually worked so now bot lane wins as well and i really like the fact now that this uh, mountain this drake gives armor and magic resist so it actually makes us much stronger than we are actually are and we're really very safe against assassins now with uh with two doran's ring with 54 armor basically we're extremely strong she has only 10 lethality 8 armor negation so she's behind also we're focusing and we're reaching our goals so while we did not consider the vision game too much we did get the drakes we did uh, follow the cartus the early game cartus that is weak okay could have called that and we're actually going for the mid game where we're going to be more strong than we currently are and we're going to keep scaling so i'm going to do a roam now because drake is spawning and we want to actually get it so i'm going to play defensive around zach and we're going to ward he here so that if trash comes we're going to one shot him maybe there is a oops so we expect now a trash to be around but we can actually go for this because there is no one, absolutely no one can stop us here. Vision warding it though, it's okay. So we have two drakes now. And we got to go for one more. The next one will be Cloud, so we have a cooldown reduction as far as I recall on the ultimate. So we're just gonna do some poke around here. My team is fighting there and winning. And uh, I'm gonna ping that Kiana is missing. Cannot, uh, maybe I, yeah, I could not save him anyway. Okay. so we did fine there uh, I'm not sure about the flash but the rest went well okay so we gotta push this wave as well don't really have mana for it but I'm gonna do it my auto attack way and we're very okay in CS as well not only in gold so we gotta remember that I'm gonna get level up Still no. Oops, maybe I get level up from this to stay near the wave anymore okay and one more Q and we can back up I uh, don't think I'm gonna get much of it probably yeah I'm backing up because I don't see Kiana and while I still have flash there's no point in me staying around and uh, careful okay she's one tree it's fine this is the moment where you can actually go for Rabadons if you're this far ahead because you want to one shot as many people as you can so do you want to recap let's recap what we've talked about in this uh, in this little video uh, i think tristana destroys them so basically you want to focus on early game help your jungler as much as you can because now junglers are extremely important you have more xp per lane so you can go bot and you can destroy more people than usual because of level advantage compared to the bot lane it's small advantage but it can go 
very very up very very high I'm sorry for the bad uh, English there oops I think we got them here I where is the trash am I blind where where did he flash Jesus I played that so bad I'm not sure where trash went I think he flashed somewhere else or I'm just bad probably over that one but that's because I was focusing on uh, telling the bloody types of uh, early game. So if you have an early game jungler, that, um, if you have a, how can I say, gank or gankish, <laughs> roam or tankish jungler, uh, you can actually help him uh, by using his CC spell. All tanks besides Mundo have some CC spells, some hard CC that can be used towards your advantage. So use your W EQ combo to deal the killing blow. Or if you don't, if you have an early game jungler like Udyr, like Lee Sin, like Vi, maybe, if we can consider it, uh, then you're very, very safe because you're an early game uh, champion, mid laner, most probably. Uh, a very strong, uh, well, champion overall, because now that the early game counts more, you're, you're way more useful in that early game, so we can actually win more games so in theory in theory Tulia climbed up now just ban rise because rise it's annoying i think i'm going to lose this i did not lose this okay but besides rise uh, most problems will come from assassins so play accordingly and play with your jungler because first levels most assassins aren't anything so now your early game matters more whoops I got this right here. I thought I had flash, but apparently I flash for that trash for no reason. So yeah, okay, we still got the kill here. And trash is dead. Yeah, we won. So we do all these things. We play with our jungler. We kill their jungler and assassin because Talia yeah, with most champions is probably in top strongest combos if you play right. If you don't miss your W and early game you are kind of strong especially if you play with corrupting or with uh ring. i might even say teleport but ignite might be better heal to play again with your jungler to actually do what we talked about and i think tristana just killed that more the kaiser yeah and then we scale off through drakes and we finish the game through drakes and heralds and barons herald is also important plates are also important roaming is also important and you can find some nasty paths with alts if you get into alcove but i don't think you'll get there most of the time so we got that going also don't give bounties like i just did don't flash for a random trash as I just did because it will be more useful to flash next time and don't miss cannons as I just did. Follow all these tips and I guarantee you that you will be a better Talia player. Now, even though we all know that Talia is a maybe C or B tier, I believe she's actually slowly climbing to A tier again in mid lane. And I believe she might be, for higher elos, she might be a A or even S tier if the player knows how to play in that context in lower elos she will be bad because most players have no idea how to actually play especially against uh, especially against a champion like Lee Sin or Odir or Nocturne or Warwick but it will be fine eventually if you scale it to the mid game so scale it to the mid game focus on that even as a jungler and there go for the drakes go for everything else if you're playing jungle be careful on those drakes as most uh, there are some champions some junglers that can solo it or they're like Udyr like Warwick and there are some champions like that can murder you early on so you have to take different patting so you don't have to be dumb with it you have to be smart you have to take some smart pattings that will allow you to actually dodge most of the invades from the enemy champion because if they invade you you're probably going to die and now i'm going for this hopefully there's no one who can actually stop oh one second cast time okay wow okay i just uh, got my w cancelled by his ultimate so that's on me and I had still no flash, I thought I had flash, okay. 
I'll be honest with you, I cannot play 100% if I focus on these videos unless I do replays, uh, because, well, obviously, uh, I need to focus on the top part, but we're still not going to lose this even though they are murdering us right here. So, go here, ping it, go for the red trinket, and maybe get the vision word. I said red trinket. So we we told uh, we spoke about what we do early. We spoke about what we uh, what we do in the mid game. We take drakes and we then we focus more on drakes and heralds. And we are at the point where we have three drakes, drakes and we have good cooldowns, have a lot of extra damage and stats. So what's next? Next Baron and Drake again, Elder maybe later on. And you also have to play smart around the new bushes and the new uh, jungle changes. There will be more ways to go around the jungle, especially with the mountain drake and other drakes as well. Uh, there is this bush right here that can set up some nasty. Uh, what is it? Six wing. So there are things that you can do. I'm not sure why. Ah, that's a nice dash. At least I'm getting that trash. Yeah, we're trolling right now uh, because I'm not focusing enough. But in rest, we're going great. Yeah, we're still winning without problem. And this guy will probably kill Cardus here. But it's funny because even though he just soloed him here. You can see the level difference in farm, 60 farm ahead, 2 levels ahead, and while I do have some farm advantage, it's not enough. Let's just end the game right here without wasting much time, I'm actually going to lose some uh, stats here for this uh, item. And I don't need yet, okay, I need. I definitely need now orb, it's a good time to actually pick it up. So let's start this, Cartus is dead, go for it. Okay, and you have to first clear the words, uh, but yeah, I believe they didn't think much on that. Maybe, maybe I find a good pick here. Of fail with that ult, and here might be a hook. I'm getting ulted. Okay, one more word there. I just want to stay in this bush. Oh my god! Okay, at least I'm gonna take this from you. We're going to get Drake, that's okay. And I'm going to alter right after I get this. Because there is a Cartus and there is a fight going on. And this Cartus is getting straight up murdered here. But we are losing the fight, interestingly enough. And for some reason, oh, okay, we win. We still win. Never mind. Yeah, Caitlyn is probably trolling. You're actually, she can actually kill that Caitlyn. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we won. Did we get Drake? We got another Drake. Oops. We could have ended the game while a while ago. But I suppose, while well, I focused on the tutorial, I trolled a bit too much. So that's on me. But still, we're getting this win without much fuss. Hey. Wow. Now this is an effect of a level 15 Tristana with 17 kills. She got a bit of advantage, we can say. <laughs> Three level difference on that ADC. Now she's supposed to be behind, that's the interesting part, but because she's so ahead, well, game's pretty much over. 
and we gotta focus on that part of the game. Now we have all Drake's Elder is coming soon. Hmm. Minute 24, minute 29, Elder is pretty quick. I really like though the fact that the game did not end as fast as we thought. I missed another cannon. Because now we can actually focus on all parts of the game. Let me just do this. Okay, you guys don't clear this map enough. Okay, yeah, go for it. Come on. Come on. Never mind. Now nah, we just we just run the game here. much pointless for me to be there now because I can just push this wave maybe even kill him who knows yeah now Kartos deals no damage to this we can actually kill this tower okay it's fine it's actually end game right now and we did find there if I had stopwatch maybe I would have actually uh, killed him now I did went for Zonia instead of that because uh, I actually wanted uh, f instead of four I mean because I actually wanted uh, to have a safety net against that Mordekaiser because he can just hold me and kill me because he's fed yeah we want Jesus the damage but it's still funny because Zack is behind in terms of experience, so it matters a lot on how much you farm and how much you are actually taking those camps early on. So this is the lesson for you guys, the jungle, it's an important thing right now, the mid lane experience has changed and top lane as well, you're a bit stronger, but against assassins you still have to be careful, you do not have to play with Omnistone, that keystone is ugh, for just that's the most... The, the best way I can describe it actually and in general I believe this is the all the things that you need to know to master Talia for the next season we're going to see what changes uh, are to be next we're going to do some videos for the changes that will come to different things and we're going to actually learn better to play Talia in the next season and climb higher than ever before Thank you very much for being here with me today again and every single time you are guys here around. I really like all of you and I really want to keep uh, going with this channel so I'm going to make these tutorials, I'm going to listen to your suggestions, I'm going to help you, I'm going to help you in Discord as much as I can or on the client if you message me there or anywhere else. And we're all going to climb together in the next season going to be better. See you next time guys, goodbye.